What would you say to a leader that always has to be right? I would submit to them this. When somebody comes to a leader with an issue of concern, every conversation ends roughly with these two words, you're right. The question though is, who's the one saying you're right? You might see me as a leader, Alex, and you come to me and you have a question, a need, a problem, and I quickly give you an answer because I think I'm so freaking smart right? Because I've answered this so many times before. And at the end, you say, man, Marcus, you are so right, man. You are so, I knew you would have the answer. Problem is in that moment, how much did Alex grow? None. Zilch. Because you didn't do the work. Who's the hero? You are. I'm the hero. And I might feel good, but all I'm doing is creating a dependency on me. And you never develop like that. My team doesn't develop like that. Look at the other version of you're right. What if I was so good as a leader at asking questions that always at the end, we got to a light bulb moment where the person said, you know what? I think I know the solution to this problem. I think I have an answer. I've got an idea. You know, come to think of it, or now that you asked me that question, and then they're gonna share their discovery. And now when they share the discovery, you as a leader, are able to say, you know what, Alex? You're right. The great ones, we refer to them as pathfinders because they know it's not their job to hear you're right. It's their job to ask questions that are so, so provocative and helpful that the person's able to find the answer. And as they find the answer, that pathfinder is able to say, you're right.